we were part of a group. It's a Facebook group. It's the worldwide cleanse that I have every three months. What did you think about the group? You can be totally honest now. <laughs> um, I, I, th I thought they were very supportive mm -hmm. uh, you know, for people that I just met. Mm -hmm. um, I was amazed by that. I was yeah. amazed how dedicated um, some of the other members were yeah. and how uh, you know, far more significant some of their health challenges are. Yes. Um, I mean, yes, it's amazing. You know, like minor, minor. You know, I was a little bit curious to, to learn about it, uh, you know, for my kids' health. Yes. Uh, so I can get them eating right. But, yes. uh, I mean, some of the people in the group uh, are really doing it for um, for their sake and their health challenges. Yes. And uh, had to stay on it much longer than, than I did for the 14 days. So that's, that's really amazing to see. Yeah. Yeah, and you're right. We've got some really dedicated people who, you know, their health challenges are so big that they have to, keep doing it for much longer but you know they've already been doing it for quite some time and you know but bit by bit they get better and better and better and when you've been abusing your body for a long long time <laughs> you know it's not going to clear up overnight so it, it, it is about dedication so well thank you for that it's good to hear that the group works well for you um what is the message that you would give a first-time cleanser who hasn't yet cleansed but is thinking about it but not sure if they can do it? What would you say to them? I would say don't do it without Fiona's help. Oh, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know where I would have uh, begun without Fiona's help. Oh, thank you. Um, you had, you had uh, uh, an answer to every question mm -hmm. that everybody had, um, always timely at the right point. Uh, but also for first-timers, I would say... Uh, work up to it um, because um, if, you, if you're like me and, and, and you had been eating acidic uh, foods for, for much of your life, um, then you're going to have a very big cleanse <laughs> yeah. if, if, if you hit it pretty hard. So uh, if, if going into the cleanse you can transition to more alkalizing foods, um, I imagine that would help. It probably did help me yes. uh, a little bit. And then uh, you know it might be okay for your first cleanse to uh, just do 100% alkaline and, and, and maybe a little more chewing. Right. Um, you know the vegetables if if that gives you a mediocre and then plan to plan to cleanse again. Right. You know, or or if you have the time and you want more results faster, um, then you can do what I did and, and <laughs> get it as hard as possible with uh, you know with the 100% uh, liquid alkaline diet. That's brilliant. I mean, I run alkalizing boot camps as well. And those boot camps, they're just seven days long. They're on Facebook as well. But what they do is they introduce people into eating an alkaline diet. So, you know, we have newcomers and oldies that come back time and time again, because what I find is, you know, repetition is the mother of skill. So the more you learn about this stuff, the more you immerse yourself into it, the more you will pick up the tips that come along the way. So a lot of it is repeated, but it's designed that way so that you can always take some nugget from each each you know group uh, meeting that we have, and that you can really start to apply that to your lifestyle. So um, you know, and I I run all of those um, regularly on Facebook. So you know, all of that is brilliant. You look brilliant. You know. I hear nothing but good things through Andy. What, um, what, what was the ultimate? I mean, what would you say you've come away from that cleanse with? How, how are your knees? How's your gout? You know, you've obviously lost weight. How's your energy levels? How are you actually feeling? Was it worth it? Um, yeah, it was totally worth it because um, my joint pain uh, in my knees and in my feet are totally gone. Totally um, gone. Totally gone. I, well, I would say 99%. I mean, there have been some times maybe I worked a little too hard at keto, the martial art yeah. that, I, that I practice with, with Andy. Um, but I used to have problems with some of the techniques and, and uh, practicing with my son when I practice on my knees and, and with some of the other kids. There's a lot of techniques you do on your knees. Yes. Um, and they used to be painful. Uh, you know, sort of a dull pain that I would uh, live with so I, yeah. could, so I could practice. Uh, but it wasn't it wasn't comfortable, and um, you know soon going into the cleanse, um, I began to to you know just have no pain when I practiced those techniques. Oh wow, that's cool. Um, as well as I became more flexible. Um, really. You know perhaps because I lost the weight or perhaps the alkalizing as well, but I could stretch further than I've stretched in <laughs> in ten years. And, uh, it wasn't really something I expected, but that was that was a nice benefit. Mm -hmm. um, as well as was the weight loss um, 
minus the need to really buy a complete new wardrobe. <laughs> starting, <laughs> it. starting with belts, because <laughs> that's how you can keep your pants a little bit longer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't want you walking around with short pants. That wouldn't work at all. Um, and what about your energy levels? How do you, did you notice any difference in your energy levels yet? Um, yeah, right away they've, they've been higher. Um, you know, they, they're, they're always higher when I exercise anyway. Those days when I get the endorphins going, yes. uh, but really on days when when I don't have time to exercise too much, um, they're still higher from so continuing to eat a, a lot more raw vegetables. Right. So how and how is your diet now since you've come off the cleanse? Um, you know, how has it affected how you continue to live your life? Yeah, um, I came into this so quickly that I wasn't really expecting to be, um, you know, fully alkaline after the cleanse. So I would say I'm a little bit more transitional. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know how long it's been, like two weeks since the cleanse maybe. And, two or three weeks, yeah. Um, I haven't eaten uh, any steak. I used to eat a lot of steak. Um, I've eaten a lot of fish. Got my son turned on to more fish. Brilliant. Um, a, lot, uh, a lot more vegetables, uh, a lot more avocados. Yeah, uh, wonderful and, and avocados. The, and the water with the drops um, all the time. Lovely. Um, and continuing with the, with the supplements. So That's brilliant. Um, and, and that's the wonder of it, really. I mean, you know, it, it doesn't matter where you are or how you do it as long as you're moving forward and you're clearly moving forward. And, you know, we'd love to have you back in the next cleanse, which will be in the new year, just after Christmas and the, the holidays, because, of course, that's the most important time to start <laughs> cleansing again, get those New Year's resolutions started off on a good footing. But the other thing you mentioned is that I picked up on was you know, the fact that you are introducing this to your children. What a great role model. And obviously our children need great role models to create fabulous, abundant, healthy lives themselves. <laughs> so what a great role model that you're being for your children. Thank you. And uh, Thank you so much. I really appreciate your time. And you'd be amazed at how many people are going to watch this and be inspired by, by what you've just said. So I'm very grateful. Thanks, <laughs> you're, Brad. You're welcome. I'm Thank glad you. to help.